Real Talk Live with Rodney Grimes. People to people, power to power, positive thinking people. Yes, with Sir Rod and Lady Z. It's not about you, it's not about me, it's about we. And God we trust. People to people with Rodney Grimes, and you already know how I go. I'm always blessed to be in this seat and be able to have this opportunity to make things happen, to bring things to the individuals out there. Um, it's, it's just, it's just real, real power. It's powerful, powerful for me right now. And uh, you know, before I introduce my guest today, I, 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 because he really ain't guest. But before I introduce my guest today, I just want to let you know that God is real, and 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 whatever you do, you got to keep it real. It's keeping it real. That's our topic. Keeping it real, speaking your truth. Okay? So, so, uh, and the reason why I came up with this topic along with my guests is because every time we talk, that's what we do. So, I'd like to welcome my guest, Mr. Anthony Ellison. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, so, my brother, you know, first of all, you know, I got to give honor to God. Oh, yeah. You know? And uh, I, I got something I'm going to read, but I ain't going to read it right now. I'm going to let us get the conversation going. But, uh, okay. uh, you know, the topic today is keeping it real, speaking the truth. Yeah. Um, we had a conversation a couple of weeks ago, right? Yes, we did. And, yep. and, 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 and doing that, I was like, yo, man, I need you to come in, relax. I want you to come in. Because you do a lot of things. And, and, you know, some people who know you, that's yeah. up to you if you want to talk yeah, about yeah, that. Yeah, they, they're about the entertainment. Yeah, yeah. you know, you, you end, you're doing about that entertainment stuff. But um, what they don't really get is that conversation that we have on the phone when it's uh, after dark. And we we, we we talking straight man to man. Mm -hmm. And we talking uncut. Yeah, keeping it real. Keeping it real. <laughs> keeping it real. <laughs> and that's you what's know? so powerful yeah. with us. Um, I want to start off with a little bit, you know, coming up in our area where we grew up at. Mm -hmm. What's your intake on the relationship of the men among men where we grew up? I mean, it, it's totally different now. I mean, when we grew up, I mean, I can remember in the new projects, man, where we grew up, where, where I grew up and you was up the street, um, the, 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 the guys, the men there, they wouldn't, as a youngster, some of the things that these young people are doing now don't have respect for the elders and stuff like it. It wasn't happening then. Right. We were, we were the unit. We were the village that they talk about, you know. And a lot of time people say, uh, you know, it takes a village. They say it just to be saying it. Yeah. They they don't put the action behind the meaning of that and what it taking the village is, you know. And and we can go next door, um, you know. And, and and fellowship with the people next door. And it, it wouldn't be that he going to steal something. Right. You know what I'm saying? The doors was open. Yeah. I mean, it, different. Different to what it's at now. I mean, it, and it, it, it takes me back to when when it was the before segregation kind of thing. The, the, the black family was like, was like tight. Yeah. And then segregation hit, and we thought it was so great, but it seemed like it tore us apart. Well, and it did. You know, it did. And and one of the things that, and this is not, because you know we can go to a different level. Oh with yeah. That conversation, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. How we are, and this way I think that we have to hold a responsibility, and that is is that we have to hold a responsibility on what we do in our house, yeah, in our home. That is true. No First matter teacher. what, no matter what, where it came from, how it get there, you're responsible what goes on in your house. Yes. Yes. And and you know what was so powerful back then when we were coming up and I know even before us 
um, it was a different perspective because our grandmothers and mothers and them put something in us about respect. Oh yeah, that was Definitely. powerful. You knew better than the disrespect. You wouldn't even elder. curse by a church. <laughs> You know, yeah, you know, that's right. Man, if you were cursed by a child, oh, you'd be like, oh, oh you were like, oh, God, forgive me. That's yeah. right. You know, you would. It, it was like that. It was yeah. like that. And and, then, and 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 it was almost you was with your neighbors. It wasn't embarrassing if you didn't have no sugar or something. You say, Yo, right. y'all got any butter? Right. And we say, yeah. Exactly. You we know? all family. Everybody family. All family. Oh, you know, your mother might say, go down and ask uh, uh, Miss Miss Harris or Miss Marie for for a stick of butter. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you you go down there. and she said she had, she had, had a butter right there as soon as you get there. Yeah. And you run it on back over. Run it on back to, to the, yeah. You know, with, with nothing but love and respect. Yeah, yeah exactly. There ain't nobody figured that they, uh, you always begging. It, it, wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't like that. that. No. It was, it was, de- it was definitely unity, man. You know, and we go back to where it is now. You know, I, I remember the, the first time there was a shooting in the, um, in the, in the new projects, you know, and I was like, Man, I don't never remember nobody shooting nobody when I, when I was, you know, not not where we actually lived at. It, it was some shooting going on. Don't get me wrong, because my my cousin got killed. You know what I'm saying? But it wasn't it wasn't in our neighborhood. Can I, can I be honest though? What's that? Your brother shot at some people too. <laughs> but but out in the hood, he, he did it all. Yeah, yeah. He did it all. Well, don't even yeah, 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 yeah. Because I know that. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, yeah, I, you know, he you did know. it for me for a time. Right, right, right. right. You know that was my boy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he did it for me one time. But, dude, but no, I'm I'm on a, I know. I know what you mean. I'm on a basketball court, and a dude, an older guy, gonna come there. They want to play, so they are gonna take the court from us. You don't take the court from Roscoe, little Bro- brother. brother. Uh-uh. Man, I ran home. Man, next thing you know. He told us don't go, you know, he said, don't go back over to the bathroom. Don't go over to Parker Gray because it was Parker Gray at the time. Don't go over to Parker Gray. I had to go see what he was going to do. I heard, pop, pop, pop. He, he shooting at the dude's feet, you know, as he, as he talked to him. And I was, but, but that told me not to go get my brother no more. <laughs> if you don't want nothing to happen to him, don't get my brother. He wasn't the one. He ain't going to go there talking. Right, right. You right. know. But but now man, it's just it's just. It's but but just but even sense. back then, it was a difference. He didn't shoot the person. Nah, he didn't he shoot just the shot person. at him. He shot at. Him. He, he, shot he, at him. he just made a point. See, exactly. It, it was different because exactly. back then, you know, you know, you know, he was my, he was one of my best friends. Right. And 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 I know how he was. He wasn't no real real bad dude. He just didn't like you messing with people he cared about. Yeah, exactly. So you exactly. know, and, and he had to do what he do. But getting back to we talking about the village and all that type of stuff. We've gotten to the point we got away from it, but we got away from even the part of being courteous to the human race. Yeah, I'm talking people. You know, that's part of the reason why we have this uh, label and the title of this program is People to People because I believe that God made us all. Yes. I know He did. Oh yeah. Oh you yeah. Know? And, and and as we was talking before we came on the air, you were just told yeah, me that, that, something yeah. that, that really blew me. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Jim Crow. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. But see, the thing about, see, race didn't come into existence. I just found out recently, as a matter of fact, it was uh, a Caucasian, she was talking about it, Uh, uh, Ellen, the one that be coming up there, you know, doing seminars, letting white people know that we all one way, one race. And racism didn't start until after the 1400. You know, uh, everybody was, was the human race. There was only one race, human race. But then, during the Spanish, I think it's called Inquisition or whatever it is, you know, they couldn't, they couldn't, because they was killing people at that time because of what you believe, your 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 your, your uh, religion. Mm-hmm. Well, they couldn't look at a person and see what the religion was. So then they started using skin tone, you know, and that's how it all started. You know, if your skin tone was dark, you know what I'm saying, they started trying to use verses out of the Bible to say you was, um, they used the curse of Ham. The story about the curse of Ham, when um, Ham got cursed because he seen Mo, uh, uh, Noah's nakedness. You know they used that for our ancestors of why you should be slave and why you get your. That's when we start saying we we'll get our when we get to heaven. heaven. Well, you know my pastor always say, how you gonna recognize heaven? You don't have heaven down here. <laughs> if you don't have heaven down here, how you gonna recognize heaven where you going? Well, well I believe you know? <laughs> I, you know I believe that I don't think that God meant for nobody to wait till you die to start having exactly. some peace and joy. Exactly. I think that He wants you to have that here. But when you come down to it, we just talking about people to people. On a regular, we mm-hmm. talk about. That's one of the things that we, 
as a human race, we got to get back to a point where we acknowledge the truth. What we say, keeping it real, speaking the truth. Yes. The truth is, believe it or not, I can take a black heart, a black man's heart, mm-hmm. and put it in a white man's body. Exactly. And I can take Let's a white say. man's heart and put it in a black man's body. And you can do it with a Hispanic. You yes. can do it with an Asian. Yes. The heart will work. Yes. Because God has blessed us with the technology to do so. Yes. Um, but uh, where we at right now is just to a point where we've just gotten so selfish. And that's many of us. And speaking of that, it's mm-hmm. not just the selfishness of races, but I'm talking selfishness of people right in the neighborhoods. Right. But that's the but that's the mentality that was that was kind of like embedded in us, you know. After after, you know, after my okay, I grew up in the sixties, the early sixties, you know, and some of the some of the the things that I experienced, like this didn't even happen in the sixties. This happened in the in the in the late seventies, where I would be at a I would be at a uh, at a corner, you know, and and um. Caucasian would they would drive up and then they'll reach over and lock their doors just because I'm standing in the corner. Yeah. You know, and 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 as a young, you know, it, it tried to that situation tried to have me harbor resentment. And I and I learned that when you harbor, you know, resentment towards another human being, you're only hurting yourself. yourself. Come on, man. You know, you're only hurting yourself. Yeah. So I, I learned early on that it ain't doing me no good. You know, because now that person going on in life, and I still left with these emotions that 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 I didn't got for for a situation that I really labeled them wrong. Yeah. I just labeled it wrong because when you when you find the truth in something, it sets you free. The truth really sets, sets you, you free. free. Yes. You know, um, when I, I used to tell people, resentment is like peeing on yourself. Nobody feel it but you. <laughs> you know, I mean, I mean, just think about it. That person going on in the light and you still mad. I had a conversation with a with a with a uh, with an older person one time, and we and we and, and we mentioned I mentioned uh, another person's name, and that person got mad, and I was like, "What's wrong with you?" You know, and they started describing what that person did with, when they was like a teenager, mm. and they like fifty something years old now, and I'm like, "You still holding that? that? Come on!" I was like, "I mean, I was like." If you if you would have let if you let that go, I said no. I said what I told. I said you blocking your own blessings by holding that. Well, that's that's how people are in general. And I, and speaking on that, because even with me, it's some things that happen, has happened in my life. Um, um, God has blessed me. Last week uh, was my birthday, mm-hmm. and, um, and 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 had related anyway. And thank you, thank yeah. you. You, uh, I'm gonna give you I the cash you. app. And, oh, I already did that. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. So so. Um, is, no, he the, he must ain't checking his cash app, y'all, because because I I sent him some money. I sent twenty five dollars on the cash app, unless his uh unless his wife got it first. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you already know, you know, she might she might already she might already got it. But 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 when 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 it really come down to it, man, uh, 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 it, just with people themselves, uh, I I realized uh, what I've been focusing on. Is not focus on what somebody do to me. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Focus on Mm-mm. what God got have for me. Oh my goodness! That's... Not what they do to me, but I got to focus on what God got for me. You know what is it? What's my journey? Because if you if you run in a if you if you I've talked about this a while ago. We mm-hmm. talked about if you drive in your car, you can't keep looking in the rearview mirror. Right. You right. can't keep looking to your right or left. You want to do that periodically, make right. sure you don't hit nobody. But you need to focus on where right. you're going. But 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 I, I I'm what could a person do actually do to me? I ask myself those things because there's a there's a tool that I use called the Serenity Prayer. And and the Serenity Prayer tells me that I can't change people, places and things. And so that means the responsibility on me. So when somebody kinda like rubbing me the wrong way, I have to check myself. Because either my ego is in play. Well, most of the time, my ego is in play because that person don't define me. I define me. And when you ask something somebody said, it's because you have accepted that was you. Yeah. You know, and 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 that's the difference in my life today is that you can't define me. I define myself. Right. You know, and God already said that I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Yes. You know, and if I decide to see myself other than that, 
then that's on me. And you can't blame nobody yeah, else. Yeah, that's it. on me. I got to take responsibility. If this is my truth. I have to take responsibility. Whenever you do, if you're going on in life, and I and we share, I share that with you. If a person is going on in life, you know, doing making decisions for their for whatever reason for their life, who are us? To be angry with that person, even if we don't agree with it, we still gotta, we still gotta get, it. we gotta offer that person grace because we. I, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure that a lot of time God looked down at me and said, "Look at this, come on now," and just send me some grace. You know what I'm saying? And I know this because I know some decisions I made in my life that it, it took grace to get me out of it. You know, I'm glad you said that because that's something I had to let go. I was. Holding on to some things that some people I thought did something to me. Mm-hmm. Don't know why they did it. Mm-hmm. And and I can't really tell you, you know, if if they did it intentionally. Right. But right. when I was finding myself, I was I was hating on them secretly. I okay. Was, I was finding okay. it I'm carrying it inside <laughs> because you you know, I I think and you think you better than me. Uh-huh. You know what I figured out? It's because I was thinking that you think you better than me, not what you said. Right, exactly, so, exactly. So I got to exactly. get to the point. I start saying, you know what, Ronnie, stop trying to figure out what's in their head. Mm-hmm. Know what's in yours mm-hmm. and know what you got to do and stay focused. That's been something real powerful for me. Um, just, oh, man, I'm really just praising and giving honor to God lately um, at this level because I've, I've, I'm maturing at 62 years old, Dang. I'm maturing it to a level that's man is making me feel a joy yeah. that I never felt before. Right, right. See, I, I'm not going to have a person tell me that I'm a bum. Right. If right. somebody called me the N word, why should I get mad? Because I ain't that. Right, exactly. Exactly. You are who you yeah, answer to. Right. So if you answer to it, then obviously, you know, yeah. that's not me. My name is Rodney. Yeah. So if you're going to call me out of my name and I turn around because some dude that's across the street, well, no matter what his nationality is, mm-hmm. call me out of my name and I respond to it, then I just acknowledge that, yo, that's my nickname or something or whatever. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But if I ignore him, as long as he don't put his hands on right. me, right. then... Yo, if he want to be ignorant, I can leave him in that ignorant position. Right. And nine out of ten, whatever he was calling me, and if I ignore him, he's going to be calling himself that because I'm not responding exactly. to it. Exactly, exactly. So we keep it moving. Yeah. But that's all about where we are today, keeping it real, speaking truth. Let's get to the point where we start to really see where the, the problems are. And the problems is within us. Well, the problems is in the thinking. You know what I'm saying? Right. A good day and a bad day is your attitude. That's the only difference. You know, there's two things in life, lessons and blessings. If you choose anything, uh, that's on you because God has already set it up. He's already set it up for us. We're always looking at ourselves as physical beings. We are a spiritual beings living a physical existence. <laughs> come, you on, know? come on, talk and, to me. Talk and, to me. And we are... We are vibrations, you know what I'm saying? We are energy and vibrations. You know, we are made of matter. So so we respond, we using our words to say things, and then we get the results of, of what we put out there. We we wonder why is this right. happening? That, that, you know? that's, that's like when you wake up in the morning. If you wake up in the morning and say it's going to be a bad day, guess what? That's right. It's a bad it's day. It's in your attitude. You, right. you, already, you already claimed it. You already claimed it. You already claimed it, and you send the energy out there, and it's going to respond right back to you. See, and whatever you, know, you put out. I, I, I don't, you know, I, I start changing the way I, um, see, I don't, I don't call my, well, what people call bills, I call opportunities. I change, because they did a study. That the word bill has a lot of negative energy around it. And once you start, you know, once you start trying to get a little understanding of how, how energy works and stuff like that, you'll change your language. You'll change the way you present. Because if God uh, uh, called everything to existence, that means we still have the essence to do the same thing. So our words have power to it. Whether you believe it or not, our words have power. And people, man... I'm just working to pay these bills. Guess what? You just sent out to the universe. That's what you want to do. So the command is going to come back. That's what you're going to be doing. Mm-hmm. So I look at my stuff as opportunities because if I pay that what they call a bill for my car note, that's an opportunity for me to have transportation. Pay my, I pay my, my mortgage. That's an opportunity to have a roof over my head. These are opportunities. Nobody came to your door and said, huh, pay this. You made a choice. 
And now you have to put the attitude around it to where you rejoice in that opportunity. Come on, man. You know, and that's it. and that's and that's where I, that's where I met. You know, at, at fifty eight. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I rejoice in my choices because I know today I'm gonna stand behind. I'm, I'm a man of my word. For you know everybody saying? just tuning in, this is People to People with Rodney Grimes, and my guest is Mr. Anthony Ellison. And I'm gonna tell you something, man. I am oh. this brother here. We yeah. had these conversation privately, man. and we was talking last week. And I was like, you know what, Anthony? I asked him to come, <clears throat> come. I said I need you to come on the program. He was <clears throat> like, you know, um, you could do that, right? And so also, uh, let me put it out there. If you want to call in and join in on the conversation, the number is 703-752-6120. It's 703-752-6120. And also, I got to throw out the cash app. The cash app is the... Let me, let me, do, let me do that. Let me do the cash go, app. Because people are always thinking that you appreciate when you ask for money. You know, there, there is, see that, that mentality. Y'all know that with every business you go into, it takes funding. You know? And... and and so when a when you let's just, just change our mindset, you know, whenever you see somebody doing something, you know there's funding. You're in the United States. You're in a capitalism a capitalism place, you know, where they teach you that you have to produce something that's going to generate your funds so you can function in this world. Okay, so when this brother asking for support. I mean, when he asks for his cash out, he's not begging you to do anything. He's not trying to scheme on you. Just change the mindset. He know that to take these lights, it costs money to make these phone, the 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 the, the have the phone call, the, the mic, the having having somebody in here, you know, making sure that his his his, his podcast is running uh, uh, efficiently, you know, and it takes funds, you know. So when I'm a, I'm gonna give his I'm gonna give out his cash app and maybe some of y'all will listen to me and don't think that I'm begging, you know what I'm saying, you know since he's not saying I'm gonna say his cash app is dollar sign capital R capital G nineteen sixty, okay I'm gonna say it again, dollar sign capital R capital G nineteen sixty that's the year he was born just in case you wanna know why he came with nineteen sixty I know this brother. You know what I'm saying? And um, it takes funds. The first time he told me he had a spot, and I'm not bragging, you know what I'm saying? I ain't say nothing to him. I just went into my phone and cashed out to him. I already had his cash out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't even say nothing to him. And then he going to call me, you know, man, man. I said, dude, I know what it takes. I mean, I've been with him since he was doing shows on the, at the Lee Center. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Doing a gospel show. You know, I was the bum outside. I was pretending to be a bum. Outside, panhandling for money to see if people who was going into a gospel program, on, bro, you know what I'm saying, to, to see talk if they going to gonna give me some money. Then I went inside, and I sit up front, and he had me to come up. He they, People didn't know I was part of the act. So I'm in a bummy clothes. I come out the bummy clothes. I'm in a three-piece suit come talking on. about transformation, talking about you don't know. You so busy talking about you of God. There's a God, that's the essence of God in every human being out here, you know. And we're so busy judging the book that we see, but we don't know the contents inside the book. So if you focus on the God and that's in you, then you can see the God in another human being. And that's people to people. That's real people to people. You know, mm -hmm. spirituality is one thing. Religion, okay, let me, I'm, I, I go, got go, to say go, this. Go, go, I got go to go say this. Talk, 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 talk. Y'all religious people talking about uh, Jesus is Jesus is, you know what I'm saying? And Jesus wasn't even a Christian. Christianity didn't start till after he rose. But but you will keep on saying, he Christian. You know, I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian. I'm a Jesus. I'm a Jesus. You know what I'm saying? And you don't even know that. Won't you just be a follower of what he did? Mm -hmm. Just be that. You know, get the religion out of it. Why, do the behavior part. You know what I'm saying? Where he served people. So that's all he did. His whole life, he served people. So you be that Jesus essence and just serve people. And don't worry about what they say and the judgment that comes with man. Because everybody has that judgment day. You know, just, I mean, if, you, if we can just, just take a moment and really get an understanding of some of the things that comes out of our mouth. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and get the truth behind 
what you're saying. Because some of the stuff we learn, you know, and, and we and we repeat it, you know, and it become it become part of our culture. Yeah. But then as you get older and you and you learn something new and you and you try to, and once you learn that, that's not I didn't know it meant that. So now you gotta relearn your relearn what you what you do something new. So you have to switch. That's that's called a shift. You have to shift your thinking mm -hmm. so that you can do something different. Because if you do the same thing, expect different results. That's insanity, right? You know, you got many, you got many many. Speaking of that, and and I know you you gonna be able to go there. We got many brothers out here, and and I'm, when I say brothers, that I'm talking to every man that that walks this earth um, who be redundant in their behavior, mm -hmm. and they go out and commit a crime mm -hmm. and go back to jail. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you 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 come out. They then, then you go there and you come out, and you looking and seeing people going around. You got to realize something. The people who is not going to jail is because they doing something different, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. They they doing something different to survive. Because it's never really the same for real. For real, you may have some similar routines, but some things changes every day in order for you to move forward. If you do the same old thing, what you do, you get the same results. Yeah, exactly. So that's how you end up back in jail. If a woman's in a relationship and a man beating on her and she goes back in there and do the same thing every day mm -hmm. and she gets the same results. Mm -hmm. But that's all of us in, 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 in everything that we do. What we have to do is change like this. We change our mindset. Mm -hmm. and, and, and this is something um, um, that we shared for me and I always bring it up. And I, I live by this now. Uh, 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 Prophet, uh, the Prophet Sherman. Okay. Okay. He said to me at a at a place. He said every time that you go to bed, he said to get rid of that that faith. He said get rid of it. Cause they work for that day. <laughs> <laughs> but people don't know that. See, see, they, 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 they don't know that. I told a lady. I said. I said I was on. I've only been saving it, and I guess at this time I've probably been up about ten hours. I said, yeah, I'm saved. I've been saved about 10 hours. And she started laughing. I said, what you laughing for? I said, we only got the day. See, and that's the thing. We always say, oh, we only got the day tomorrow and promise. But we really don't. You know, it, the, another thing that we picked up as we grew up, you know, it was something being said. But if you really start focusing on right the right now, man, if you, if, I, I plead to anybody to learn how to live in today. You know, I mean, really live in today. And, and what that look like is that when you got up, you know, you focus on all the things that came into your existence. You didn't you didn't you didn't think about uh, I got a I got an opportunity tomorrow. I got to take care. You know, you just focus on the things that came into your existence. And if you get to be that way, man, life can be totally different the way you see life is today. And they, let me let me read something. Let me read something. I'm gonna read something out of the, is is Jesus calling, and uh, uh, I'm gonna read this real quick. And the reason I want this because this is kind of following us where we're going. It says, "I'm creating something new in you, a bubbling spring of joy that spills over into other lives. Do not mistake this joy for your own, or try to take credit for it in any way. Instead." Watch in delight as my spirit flows through you to be blessed, to bless others. Mm -hmm. Let yourself become a reservoir of the spirit's fruit. Your part is to live close to me, open to all that I am doing in you. Don't try to control the, stream, the streaming of your spirit through you. Just keep focusing on me as we walk through this day together. Enjoy my presence, which permits you with love, joy, and peace. <laughs> I, I, reason why I, I, when you said it, you, you, you opened that up for me to go there, mm -hmm. and that's talking about, again, you know, people, you got, you got you to gotta, you gotta not make it just about you, but to even live in that day, mm -hmm. and you got to understand you put God, you said, it, yeah. you talking about a religion, don't call him a religion, you just do what you know, whether it's Muhammad, 
Whether it's yeah, it, Jesus, it, 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 yeah. it don't it's just matter. a title. It's, it's just, just a title. title. Yeah. It's just a title. But we're talking about good it's people. A... Do you know how many good people that don't even have a name? I mean, <laughs> where they have a name that nobody heard of. Right. Uh, but they're 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 living they're, in this in right. the spirit. They're doing it. Yeah. And they and they're doing it. And that's what it just said. And see, if you focus, if you focus on that part, doing the, the goodness in the spirit, you don't have time to make it about you. Mm-hmm. Even with me, I, I, I realized a lot of times I was saying, man, I'm trying to help you. No, you know what? God is helping you. Mm-hmm. He's just using me as a tool. Mm-hmm. And see, a lot of times we got to understand, don't put yourself in the position like you think you're a superhero. Man, I've been, I've been, I've been um, doing that, you know. I got a, I got a, I, I ended a relationship behind this. Person told me they wasn't happy, and I told him that's not my business. <laughs> you know, and I wasn't really being arrogant, but I really know that if God give you joy every day, why are you concerned about being happy when you got joy? You know what I'm saying? Happy is meaning that things are happening. You know. So that's what make you happy. So you got things happening. So the the thing is what bringing it, bringing you to happiness. But if you got joy, which is God's giving you each and every day, is joy. This is your responsibility, or it's my responsibility to keep that joy, and that's what I do. I don't I, try I, to be God for nobody. I, I, I mean, somebody uh, what Fatima said. She said a Christian is having a fellowship with God, not a religion. Okay, that's fine. And yeah. And. and you know, if, 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 if so be it. Yeah. I, to me, see, a lot of people come up and say, are you a Christian? Yeah. So she just said, it's, having it's, a, it's a fellowship. It's a, it's a, it's a fellowship. It's a fellowship. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the one thing, the reason why I don't want to really come up and ask, what's your religion? I, I just ask, are, do you, do, do you, you believe? Do you, are you a believer? Yeah. And it, somebody told me today, I forgot who I was talking about. He said, I said, do you believe in God? He said, I believe in a higher being. Okay, that's good enough for me. <laughs> right. Long as you ain't believing that you it. <laughs> so if that's what you believe in, long when he said, I believe I'm in I, I'm a, a, it's a high grade. Being. I, I need to take a moment real quick and go to a commercial. So y'all y- 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 just work with me because all mm-hmm. it is is I'm going to talk about the, 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 the Lifeways X39 uh, patch. Okay. This this is my, 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 my spiel. I got to let y'all know about it. This is uh, uh, an amazing patch that you want to check into. If you look on some of the flyers and the information that we have, it will be able, you'll be able to see the uh, website. Um, again, this patch works. Um, and, and I'm telling you, for many people out there who are struggling with little aches and pains and things of that nature, the X39, the LifeWave X39 patch is something you really want to check into. You can get in touch with me. I can see that you get it. Um, I can tell you how to go about it. You can go to the website as well. Um, which we post on uh, on the flyers. You'll see right down in the corner that we have a website down there. Um, that's not a problem. But what I want you to know is that it works. And this is not no medicine. This is not something seeking in your body, just putting some kind of magic on you or something like that. This is this 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 is an amazing product that me and my wife have been using, and and several other friends of ours. And they are calling and they're saying, you know what, Rodney? That patch really works. So a lot of you dealing with aches and pains and different little situations, check out the X39 patch and then give me a call and tell me what you think about it. And if you need to try to find out how to get that patch, you can get in touch with me. Um, I will have a young lady uh, coming up real soon that's going to, she was already on the show once before. Um, that's gonna come back on, Anthony. A, a real, I, I'm gonna bring you in on this commercial because you was asking me about yeah, the patch. Yeah, man. I seen a video on YouTube of this lady who had uh, was dealing with some Alzheimer's, and her her daughter in law was like giving her questions, and it went on for like at the the first week she asked her the question, then she went back about three weeks later asked her the same question, and when it got to around about a, a month and a half, the the lady with the Alzheimer's would rec- recognize her son's birthday, recognize her grandkids, and these were things that she didn't recognize uh, prior to that. And I was like, wow. So, you know? hey, that just show you um, that patch is doing something. Yeah, it's doing um, I, I know I'm going to try it. Yeah, and and you know? so, you know, a lot of people out there, they, they, you know, let me tell you something. Uh, they, yes, and this is uh, the LifeWay 
um, X39 Patches, sponsor of uh, uh, the People to People program. And it's not because they giving me no money to do this, to get on here and talk about it. I, I'm not putting nothing on my wife that don't work. Let me tell you something. <laughs> my wife works faithfully. Um, so, you know, I can just tell you that. And some of my other friends um, do as well. So that's my commercial spiel for the LifeWave X39 Patch. You want to check into it. And, and, and follow up on that because I'm going to tell you something. It's amazing. As we move forth, we're going to be really, really uh, uh, talking about different things. Also, I don't know. I, 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 do you remember the name of the dentist office that we went to today, Lady Z? Um, if you got, if you, you can get that name because I got to give this dentist office a shout out too. Um, and, is, and, and the reason why I'm saying that is because we had an emergency today. And and I'm just I'm just a man to speak the truth. We say keeping the real, speaking the truth, right? Yeah, speaking your truth, speaking your truth. Um, my, my 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 wife was uh, she was struggling with uh, um, a toothache, and 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 uh, we called around on several places, and and I called home today, and my and my wife was crying, in pain. Mm -hmm. and, and 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 I'm gonna tell you something. I ain't gonna get too deep in it because I had I've talked about it earlier. I had a serious testimony on how powerful God is. Um, but, uh, when we went to this, uh, 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 we went to this dentist. Uh, dentist's office, um, it was amazing how they treated us. And the first thing that got me was I felt like it was all about the money, right? Because most places that's what it's about, mm -hmm. right? Um, I'm hoping that she's going to be able to find the name of this place. Um, but anyway, uh, when you they, left, they, you felt different. They, they, when I left, I, f I felt totally different because they saw my wife was in a lot of pain, mm -hmm. and uh, and 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 the numbers that they was talking about it was going to cause mm -hmm. for them to take care of her. I was sitting there, man, and I was just hurting because I I knew I couldn't afford that. Mm -hmm. You know, not right now. Mm -hmm. And 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 before it was all over, by the time I got there, it's the power of God, man. Come mm -hmm. on now, I just got to tell you the power of God. Why they took me to the front desk and they was telling me this and telling me do this and this and this and he told me what it was gonna cost. He said, "But this is what, what, how you gonna have to you work it out like this." Kind of find out I didn't have to put down a dime. Mm -hmm. And they was back ain't there, fair. and and it was it was just amazing. So I'm hoping that my wife will be able to find the name so I can just do a shout out to that dentist office and tell them, um, um, thank you so much for relieving my 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 um my wife's pain today. Because she was in tears, man, and, mm. and I had to, I had to run home, and 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 it was funny when I called them. I called them, and uh, um, they were scheduled for her to come tomorrow, and she was crying so bad. I I didn't know what to do. I called them. I said, "Look, I need some help," and the lady said, "I, I don't know, but she must have recognized something. Something she recognized." I, and I said, "It's my wife," and she said, "You, Mr. Grimes?" I said, "Yes." She said, "Hold on a second. She said. Get in here immediately. Mm. Get in here immediately. So, um, I, you know, I'm going to get back on our topic, but I thought about that. And if my wife finds out the name of the, the dentist's office, and the reason why I don't know it because it was just a lot going on. I had the program. I was looking at my wife um, uh, struggling with the pain and everything. I didn't think to grab a card. Um, but, it's in the car. Oh, it's in the car? Yeah. I, I okay. It, I think it's... I, do you remember? It, I, do you remember the address though? It was sixty four, sixty four, uh, Lin, 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 Linda, uh, Lincoln, something like that. Uh, anyway, I don't want to embarrass myself. Well, but uh, you, you see, huh? it's my generation. You gonna go to the car and get it? Uh, okay, Katrina. Uh, uh, Jesus' joy will remain. Yes, it will. Of Jesus' joy will remain. Um, Y'all got to understand that uh, Lady Z is not talking because um, she had that toothache. So she's uh, she she she's having she's having I mean a root canal. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, so hold on a second. Let me let me toss that to her. There you go. So yeah. So, you know, we, we keeping it real. We still keeping it real. We, we keeping it real. They said, keep, yeah. they said keeping it real, speaking the truth. So she gone to see if she can get that information. Because I definitely want to do a shout out to them. Because it was just amazing, man. Uh, 
what, what we had to go through, you know, mm -hmm. and I just want to say thank you to them and, and I just keeping it real. But um, let's get back on what we was at, man. Just, just you know, first of all, uh, everybody just tuning in is People to People with Rodney Grimes. My guest today is Mr. Anthony Ellison. Um, Anthony is uh, the type of man that be, he grew up in the community. Um, he do a, quite a few things on different levels um, where uh, he, he puts smiles on people's face. Yeah. And, and you, you know, and, and speaking of that, you got an ice cream truck, right? Well, I'm, I'm about to sell that. Oh, you're not going to, you're not going to. Yeah, well, it? so what happened was my, my, I, I'm also an educator. So in the summer, my, my, my time changed, so I won't get out of, out of the uh, uh, school camp until like six o'clock. So I ain't got time. Okay. So I get that blessing of somebody else. I got a, I got a caterer out in Baltimore that's looking into buying a truck from me. I, I can get another one. But as long as my brother got his, you know, I'll be still good because any events that comes up by the ice cream truck, just get my brother. Yeah. You know, yeah. so. Uh, that, you know, that's um, another thing that um, really I'm really proud of you and many others. Um, and we, we can call out many names mm -hmm. that where we grew up and how we was growing up. At one time, we had an epidemic of drugs going in our mm -hmm. community. We, we had people going to jail, dying, and so forth and so on. But what we talk about a lot of times when we around each other now? Talk about the goodness of God. Come on, bro. Goodness and, of God. That I mean, it's, when I tell people that I've been clean for 35 years, they were like, what, you used to do drugs? Man, when God wanted to clean you up, he would clean you up. Yeah. And he would leave no evidence, yeah. you know, of your past. You know, if I if I just sit back and just, you know, keep on looking, looking, looking back and talk about how I used to be and all that stuff, I never elevate myself, myself to the, right. you know, and prepare myself for the future because, you know, you know, you hear people say, man, if I'd have known what I know now, you, you wasn't ready. <laughs> yeah. You know, I was well. I put it like this. Let me put the focus on me. I wasn't ready. You know, the thing. What I know now is for the time for now. You know, what I'm saying I get the, I get the opportunity now to do something different. You know. Well, I'm hoping I'm hoping that some of the listeners out there take the opportunity to uh, listen to the program. If you know somebody out there that's struggling with a drug addiction or some kind of going through some kind of negative abuse or whatever. Know that, you know, God is real. And if you put God first, I promise you, I promise you. I always tell a person, if you don't believe in and trust in him, I dare you to challenge him. Yeah. I dare you to put yourself. Call, call, call him out. Call, yeah, him, call out. him out. Call him out. I promise you, you you know what? You can deny it as much as you want to. Call him out. But eventually, it's going to come where you realize that he's real. Yeah. And I see a lot of people doing different things where they be fasting, where they be praying. They be praying to a higher uh, uh, being, which is our God. And they and they, and they do this and, and I see them, how they be cleansing themselves mm -hmm. and focus. And that just gets me excited. And I, as many people out here are struggling with something, the reason why you're struggling is because you like struggling. Mm -hmm. See, if you, you get tired of this, right. You, if you right. get tired of it, believe me, it's almost like, man, I ain't going to let you keep beating me. <laughs> right. You know, so if you, you keep beating me, I'm telling you what's going to happen. I'm getting tired of it. I'm mm. going to start fighting back. Yeah. So. <clears throat> you get tired, sick and tired, you'll do something different. Yeah. You know? So so I got I got that information. All right, let's see. Uh, is, 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 what is, is that it? Rain? Oh, it's Lake Barcroft Dental Group. It's 6464A Link Lincoln Road, Lincoln. Alexander, Virginia. Okay? Um, I'm going to give you the telephone number two. It's 703-876-6700. Uh, now, when I tell you the reason why I had to do that is because um, when we went there, it, it, it was something. My, my wife was in pain. And they, I'm talking about from the receptionist all the way to back where you're the assistant to the doctor, the doctor, oh, just everybody in there, man. It was just amazing. So that's Lake Bar, Bar, Bar Criff, uh Dental Group. And uh, the address is 6464A LinkedIn, LinkedIn Road, Alexander, Virginia, 223-112-703-876. Um, Six seven zero zero. No, they did not ask me to do that. 
I did that because that's the right thing to do. Acknowledge it's when. Lincolnia Road. Huh? Lincolnia Road, 6464. Lincolnia Road. Lincolnia. Link. Lincolnia. Lincolnia. Oh, Lincolnia. Yeah, that's okay. off of, off yeah. of Duke Street, Little River Turnpike. It's off it's off of Duke Street. Okay, all right. Yeah, I was due for correction. I ain't mad at you. You know, <laughs> Link, it's Lincolnio, right? Did Lincolnia. I pronounce that right? Lincolnio, Lincolnia. Lincolnia. Okay, all right. Well, y'all, you know what? Go there. <laughs> Your teeth hurting. Mm-hmm. You you need you need to be treated right. Go there because uh, that's what it's all about. Um, yeah. So thank you to them. Um, we just wanted to take that opportunity to say thank you. But again, so getting back where we were, man, we was keeping it real, speaking yeah. the truth. I remember that. The, I remember when we, when we was talking. You know, we was talking about. Um, you know, I had a I had two deaths in my family, a nie- a nephew and a niece within two weeks apart. You know. And I was and I was watching my 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 sister, you know, she have she was she having a Joe's uh, season in her life, you know, and and she's a believer, you know, and and you know if you don't know Joe lost everything, kids, wife, family, everything, but God gave him double for his twop, trouble. So I told my sister, I said, you know, yeah, I know it hurts, you know, the thing how you was encouraging our cousin. You know, when she lost her daughter at 36, young, you know, just encourage yourself because God don't make no mistakes. No, he don't. You know, he don't make no mistakes. He saw something that we don't have the wisdom to know. Yeah. You know, and, and then when I, then when they utilized my nephew, they talked about some of his vision. And I'm sitting up at it all because me and my nephew used to talk about, you know, doing stuff for the kids in the projects. And here he is in Elton, in the mountains, trying to work that out. You know, mm-hmm. they say he's working to buy RV so he can go back to the projects to get the kids for the summer, for this summer, mm-hmm. to have them go, go and ride RVs up in the mountains. Oh, man. You know? And this is what he, you know, this he was doing. So, so, and I told my sister then, I said, look, you hear how God had him, you know? It doesn't matter how we see and what we think, you know what I'm saying? We don't know everything that somebody does, you know? And when I speak the truth is that, because the last thing I was talking about is that people saying, you know, they can't believe that I used to do drugs. Yeah, I used to do drugs, you know? Um, it, was, it was that season for me, mm-hmm. you know? And I recognized that's not what God called me for, you know? Uh, and I know it wasn't me who got me clean, you know? It was God, because yeah. I heard His voice, mm-hmm. you know, and I tell and I tell people, you know, when you hear that, they they always talk about this still voice. The voice don't always be still. It's only still when you're not a believer, right? Because <laughs> right. because it was profoundly I heard Him, you know, to say, look, this is you know, it's time to do something different. Yeah, well, you know? it's many people don't know. I mean, I, I honestly, I never had. I ain't saying I ain't never indulged, but I never had an addiction to, mm-hmm. um, not drugs anyway. Um, but see, this is what I found out. I ain't mean to cut you off, but I do have to say that. See, uh, there's an underline. The addiction, the drug use is 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 the is the overlap. Is is the is it's the evidence of something going on, mm-hmm. you know. And and just like cancer, you know, addiction has is has a position in your in your body you know right. it's not like a sore but it has a position in your body and and until you deal with that position that's in your body you always going to find something to feel it you know and we talking about the truth you know finding you know keeping the real finding the truth. i had to go to a therapist you know in the process of getting clean to find out what was what was eating at me? What, what, what's the trigger? Yeah, what was what's eating the, at what, me? What's the trigger? What yeah. triggers you to yeah, do that? Yeah, what, what was eating at me? And then when I got to the root of it, then I was able to deal. And that's what anything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Even with me, I said that it wasn't a drug, but I had other addictions. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. things that, you know, um, that would be another show down the line. But mm-hmm. I did. Mm-hmm. And uh, 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 what I, I realized is like this. you got to come to the truth and the reality yeah. of it. 
And when you do that and you get tired of being sick and tired, tired <laughs> then you do something different. Yeah. You yeah. start doing something different. Uh, 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 unfortunately, you don't always have to wait that long. You know what I'm saying? It, there's, there, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna catch AIDS to know the AIDS will kill you. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I can learn from somebody yeah. else's decision. Yeah. You know, uh, and you know I ain't got to always be in the grips of something to make a change. But that's what, what I, even when we talk about that, and this is for some of the viewers out there who's struggling with some type of addiction. Um, why do something that you already seen that is not a positive income? Outcome? That just shows you the. That just shows you that you're not dealing with just a behavior. It that just show you that there, there's an essence of something that's eating at you. Because, like, it was a whole lot of evidence. You know, I remember when Len Bias died. Yeah. My first thought was, man, if I can get that, <laughs> yeah. I, it, it was, that's the insanity I know, of this I, disease I, see, we have. I right. know. And many people. Man, I said, if I can get that, man. You know, I put. Oh man, it was just crazy. I had a whole conversation. You know, one day we was we was driving. We was over on Benning Road, and and we was about the the bus station over there. And this girl had a joint in her hand, and she was smoking it, but she couldn't let go the the, the pole, pole. right? <laughs> she couldn't let the pole go. And 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 we were sitting at the light, and this dude saw her stuck mentally. On the pole, he took that thing out of hand and smoked it too. <laughs> and I was like, I looked, I was like, oh my goodness, yeah. why would he do that? Yeah. Say, so, but you know something, it's it's triggers and it's things that we got. It's deeper than the drug itself. Yeah, it is. A lot of times, what we're doing, we're trying to escape from something. Man. You're trying to run from something which you need to deal with. Mm -hmm. But as many people out there that's struggling in whatever way, you got to know that you know. Just just remember, God loves you. Yes. And you know, don't 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 put yourself in a position where uh, you continue to hurt yourself. I don't care what it is. You 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 lean on God, and God's going to help you. Um, and if you and when I say lean on God, if you don't, if you're not a believer, call call one of your friends who believe it. Then tell them to pray for you. Say I don't believe in prayer, but you pray for me. Mm -hmm. Guess what? It can get yeah, it can it, happen. It can happen. It can happen for you. He you he he saying? definitely he definitely would do that. Um, again, man, it's uh, and the reason why that can happen is because you had the desire when you went to your friend and say pray for me. That showed the God of your understanding the desire you had in your heart. That's why the prayer got answered, and it didn't come from out your mouth, you know. So there's two ways you can do. There's two ways where you can receive. You can receive by the from the from the from your voice, you know what I'm saying, or you can receive from your heart, you know. And 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 I I'm a, I'm gonna come I'm gonna come back uh, uh, later on in this year, and I'm gonna give you steps on how you can shift some things in your life. I'm gonna give you resources. To 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 read, and matter of fact, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give the secret book. I'm gonna give you a brief of what I'm talking about. If you purchase the book, the called the secret, it give you understanding of, of how powerful your words is and how you draw everything into your life, good or bad. And how you do it is in your way of being, and how you vibrate out your mouth. It's, it's just simple as that, you know. And when you get an understanding, you know. All the things that you be saying and things be happening to you, you will change the way you say, it. you know, because your words are coming out your mouth are prayers and you don't even know they are. Yeah. You know, so. It's amazing, again, uh, different things uh, you can speak into existence. Yeah, man. And a lot of people, we have to realize, you know, it's important for us to speak positive things into your life. Um, you know, all the negative things that are going around, what I did last week when I went out of town, um, I didn't bring none of it with me. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I hadn't had a decent nap in 10 years, bro. While I was out of town, I took two naps. Shout out to my friends, uh, uh, Faustine and uh, Charles, who invited me up for my birthday. And they, they opened up their home to me, I want to say. Uh, with the Bible study and, and the conversations that we had, I appreciate you so, so much. Um, they allowed me to rest my mind mm -hmm. um, and to get in touch with my spirit. Okay. Um, even when I was out walking by myself okay. and I was taking those walks, I had the opportunity to, to just talk to God and 
and to be able to f f just leave all that that nonsense back across that that Bay Bridge. Mm -hmm. And it was funny because um, I had pro I got problems with my back and my legs right now, right? And even while I was there and doing what I was doing and resting and, and, and doing the things that I needed to do, I, I found myself walking better. I didn't have to use the cane. Mm -hmm. And uh, 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 and, and, and as soon as I got back here, I started, man, started limping again. I was, I, But you know what? I'm not claiming it because I'm, I'm putting it in my head that I'm moving forth, that, it, that God is already healing me. Y'all see the switch? Did y'all hear the switch? See, if y'all was listening, did y'all hear the switch? He started to change the way he say things because he understand that there's power in the words. words. Come on, power yeah. in the yeah. words. Yeah. I ain't claiming that. <laughs> I ain't claiming it. I'm, 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 I'm you moving can, forth. That's even with the, with the program mm -hmm. with with people to people. Let me tell you something. What I know for a fact. I'm on a journey, and it's not mine alone. Mm -mm -mm. This 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 people people pro, pro uh, uh uh podcast is moving forth. We are going to be all over the world we are going to be helping people from all different avenues um we've already had that opportunity and uh uh many many things uh uh um it's just a process and we have to go through mm -hmm. um I, I i i gotta say this you know for real for real we was in the in in, in the situation they uh the the man e -Hob, he i know he he don't need me to do it but i want to tell him thank you for just Hard telling for what I don't know where he was or what he was doing. <laughs> he was I, here though, but he was here, and I called him, and and he came right through. And I, I just want to say thank you because you know, yeah, you know, for real, for real. Um, um, peace and blessings to that brother, um, because uh, you know where there's a will, there's a way. Mm. And and let me say this too. Sometimes people look for you to be mad. They look for you to look at the negative of things. Nothing negative happened to me today. Mm -mm. Nothing. Mm -mm. It was a situation. Mm -hmm. Okay? And I had to either decide to let it make me angry or look at my blessing. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at all the blessings. Yeah. Lessons See, I'm moving forth. It ain't nothing but blessings. Blessing and blessings. You, you know, you have it like. So, so uh, having you here today, mm -hmm. man, was definitely a blessing. We got five minutes left and you got... You got the last words, so man. You, you, you I take just, it from here. I just know. I just want people to understand, if you can, that this this world can be a better. It, it will be a better place. It's going to be a better place. You know, if you if you look at what's going on in this world, there's a shift going on. You know, so you know either you're gonna be a part of the shift, you know, what I'm saying, or you're gonna be left behind. There's a there's a major shift going on, and if you just watch nature, you know. Don't watch the news. It's okay to you know to know what's going on, but watch nature. Nature will tell you exactly what's going on, you know. Oh, oh go ahead. So, what, what you got, Z? Um, I got a. You have a question. Go ahead. <clears throat> From Katrina McMurray, she says, "Question: Do you believe everyone go to heaven?" The position inside of us is self, full of pride. Every human being position was created before we were born. Pray, 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 pray for directions in the spirit of the living God. That's a comment. That don't sound like a question. Well, well. If well, she said, said, "Do you believe everyone go to heaven?" is the question. Well, I'm, I'm gonna say it like this: If that's what you believe, you know, you, because we don't know until we leave this place. Because a know, lot of, I, 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 I ain't nobody well, came back and well, told I'll put us. Like this. Right? I'm, I'm gonna say it like this: Everybody got the opportunity to be in heaven. Everybody got the opportunity. Now, whether everybody going to be there or not, I don't know. I, so you asking me to make a judgment that I cannot make because I'm not God. Yeah. You know, and, and everything that I read and everything people told me, you know, I will find out if it's all true or all false when it happened. Because a guru told me that, um, you know, he said, if you want to get to heaven, why are you still here? You know, if you know there's a heaven somewhere, why are you still here? 
You in heaven. You in heaven now. It says it. It says it. Yeah. Have heaven right here as it is. I mean, have as it you know, has have 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 your heaven right here on earth, right? As it is in heaven. So, well, like you said though, everybody have the opportunity. Everybody has the right. opportunity. So, so, so you can, you can, you yeah, you 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 asking me to make a a judgment on somebody, well, which you, I cannot do. You you know what though? This is what I would, would like to say. From my experience right now is based on the fact of me trying to do right, trying to be a good person to try to stay positive, and I'm feeling heaven around me. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm because today. With some of the negative things that took place, mm-hmm. I kept leaning on God and I kept smiling. So, so I found joy in it. You know, I found joy in this day, and I still, um, I, 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 so you know, will everybody? I think everybody can live in heaven. You just got to do the right thing. You can make your heaven if you, yeah. if you, if you live in like you said. You still trying to call yourself a religious person. Try to walk like Jesus. Mm. Try to walk like the Elijah Muhammad. Mm-hmm. Try to walk like those individuals who were trying to do right thing for people. The Mother Mary. You know, I, I'm not Gandhi. saying I'm not saying that who is who is the, the 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 gift from God or whatever. Right. I think that every person have that opportunity, and it's up to you to make that difference. If somebody put a, a drug down in front of you and they sit it on the table, it's up to you to pick it up. So the same thing when you when when you um you want to find out if it's a heaven or hell, keep 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 doing the negative things and hurting people. You'll find out. Yeah. You'll find out because you end up living it. And I'm gonna tell you something. That's what you gotta think about. So if you want to know if it's a heaven or hell, you do keep doing the negative things. You're gonna be living that that yeah, hell, hell right here on earth. Yeah. And if you want to know if it's a heaven, you can actually have that too. Yeah. Right so, here on earth. I thank everybody for tuning in. This is people to people with Rodney Grimes. Man, my guest we today. way over. The, yeah. we, we, every time we get, we just go over the time. Yeah. <laughs> but, hey, my guest today. Well, I thank you, Rodney. Brother. Man, I appreciate man, it, man. man. I love you, dude. Man, man I love you too. Man, keep man. doing what you're doing, man. Just keep doing. It. Like I said, I I, I I watch the growth. Yeah. And keep doing. That's why we keep we encouraging each other. I do, man. Know, and and you we always focus welcome. on you God. Man. Know. Um, we we still got God. we got to do another time where you gonna come in and and talk a little bit more about that yeah I'm gonna talk I want to talk about shift yes yeah. hey, hey can you do me a favor though what's that can you tell Uncle Buck uh, that I need him to come back yeah I, yeah Uncle Buck Uncle Buck gonna come with uh with uh Shanene. oh you got 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 to find you know yeah. I really would like to have your 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 whole uh, crew come. yeah yeah uh, yeah it's it's well I can I can I can try to get. Four out of the seven here. Well, well, let me tell you, you know something. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna call Uncle Buck because every now and then I gotta yeah. talk to him. He be doing his thing, man. He be blessing many, many people, yeah. man. So you know. Yeah, I talked to Uncle Buck, and uh, Uncle Buck said that uh, God gave it to him to, uh, you know, Proverbs talks about laughter being a sense of medicine, you know, and so that's what that's what pushes Uncle Buck. Well. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you next time. And yeah. remember, let's talk about the Wednesdays coming up. And hopefully everything will be, you know, doing what it do. And we be right here. And let's talk. And also it's date night. Dang. We went from five minutes to nine minutes.